Yes? Ask it. Hmm. I've learned not to unpick the legends so many have woven around our name. Seeing the hope die in a romantic's eyes, it is only funny the first few dozen times. Some call the Harpers heroes. Others, petty meddlers who cannot help but stick their nose into every conflict they stumble across. The truth is in there somewhere. We try to work towards a common balance. <laughs> if every other faction finds us equally annoying, that is probably a sign that we are succeeding. Ha! No. No, thank you. Let the wiser members of my order wrinkle their brows over that particular phrase. In all my years fighting for the Harpers, I am still never certain what the greater good means. I've learned to be content with, well, that was not so bad as it might have been. I will not bore you with a long tale. The short. I was born to a high family in Tedir. I remember little except that when my family fell, they fell far and fast. I learned young what fear and hunger make desperate people do. I learned to do some of it myself, even. Until a roving circle of hedge druids found me. They raised me in the wild. Uh, but when it became clear I was uh, perhaps not suited to a life of idle reflection, I was sent to the Harpers to do. They showed me how to fight with sword as well as spell and gave me ample causes to wield them for. If I was not always the truest believer in every cause, well, I fell in love with someone who was. And that is almost the same thing. Hmm? No, not really. <laughs> you might say that. I left their service and swore never to return. Multiple times, if I recall. It is easy to get tired of the intrigue. The high causes shrouded in secrecy. I thought I might find another way to be of use to the world. And for a time I did. But my comrades would use a rather irritating phrase. A harper never leaves the chorus. She simply goes to spread the song. Meaning that whatever cause I turned my hand to, there I would find them. Harpers, stuffed with their own virtue, but always there, always trying to help. So I returned to the fold, returned to the city. Eventually they hung a title around my neck, High Harper, <laughs> and I still do not know how to play one. If I wanted to spare Geraldus the same headaches, well, you now know why I needed him to be sure this is the life he wants. But you're staring. Which means the tadpole has finally eaten your brain. Or have I been talking too much? Either way, time to move, no? <laughs> <laughs>